Hey everybody, it's your Do It Girl, Jamie. So last week I made an upcycled ceiling light and it went over so well that a lot of you asked me to show you how to deck out the lights that you already have inside your room. You asked for it, you got it. So get ready to study in style with my personalized ribbon lampshade. Let's do it, girl. All right, so in order to get started, you just need a lamp base and a basic plain white lampshade. If you already have a lampshade that has colors or patterns on it, not a problem. We're gonna be covering it up with ribbon anyway. It's also worth mentioning here that a cylinder-shaped shade is the easiest to wrap ribbon around, but I live on the wild side, so I got a lampshade that has a little bit of a cone shape to it. As far as the lamp base goes, I got this baby on clearance for $10. It's already a really cool color that I like, so I'm gonna leave it as is. But if you wanna zing up your lamp base, go ahead and add stickers, decoupage it, or paint it any color you like. You're also going to need hot glue or double-sided tape, clothes pins, scissors, and 10 yards of ribbon in two different colors. As far as ribbon goes, I chose this blue aqua color to match my funky bays, and then I chose this purple color because, well, honestly, I don't think I've done a purple craft since my Smear Daddy Jar Lights video from a long time ago, and that was really just from merging red and blue colors, not using purple itself, so we were long overdue. I chose satin ribbon that's 5 eighths of an inch wide, but you can choose whatever type of material of ribbon and width of ribbon that you like. Also, my ribbon is a little bit darker for decoration purposes, but feel free to choose a lighter or white ribbon in order to make the light shine brighter. Time to get amped for the lamp. Step one, when first attaching the ribbon, you can hot glue it in if you like, but I recommend double-sided taping it so that way you can readjust it inside the lampshade as you need. Carefully wrap your ribbon around your lamp vertically, outside to inside, and back again. I'm giving myself about a quarter inch of spacing between each loop, but you can just eyeball it and then just figure out whatever spacing works best for you. You want the ribbon to be tight, but not immovable, so give it just enough slack to where you can adjust the ribbon with your fingers if need be. The reason that I recommended clothespins earlier is because if you want to keep a consistent spacing with the ribbon as you're working your way down, you can use a clothespin to keep it in place. Plus, I just wanted to show you my amazingly awesome looking bird clothespins. Right? When finished, tape or glue your ribbon to the lampshade. I will say right now that you can use non-flammable glue if you're worried about the glue melting from the heat of the bulb. But if you use a high efficiency bulb, you'll have nothing to worry about. All right, one color down, time for the second. The next step is to weave your second color of ribbon horizontally throughout your vertical ribbon. So you know the second color is going to make up the majority of your lamp, with the first color being an accent color. I'd recommend wrapping the vertical accent color with your brightest ribbon, so then that way your lampshade doesn't appear too bright. I mean, after all, you're your lamp's gonna get brighter once you light it up, too. Weave the ribbon over the first vertical strip of ribbon, under the second strip of ribbon, over the third strip of ribbon, and so on. You'll repeat this over-under pattern until you've made a complete revolution around your lampshade. Cut the ribbon with your scissors and tuck it underneath the vertical ribbon. If you're finding that too difficult, just go ahead and hot glue or double side tape your ribbon to go over the top, like that. I'll show you a way to get rid of this messy seam later. Repeat this step until your second color of ribbon has weaved its way through the first ribbon from top to bottom. Ta-da! A trick here is to cut the end of the ribbon you're threading into a right triangle. This will make the ribbon easier to weave because you can use the point from the ribbon to slide it underneath the vertical ribbon. This is also why you wanted your vertical ribbon to have some slack, so it will give way to your horizontal weaving. And we're all done. Oh wait, that. Yeah, we can just face that towards the wall, right? Well, I guess that's one idea, but another idea is to give it one final crafty touch by adding your own ribbon decoration. Step four, cover the seam with a strip or two of vertical ribbon, attaching the ribbon on the inside of your lampshade however you prefer. Then attach some other strips of ribbon using double-sided tape or hot glue to the vertical ribbons and create some small ribbon bows that go down the vertical strips. You can add buttons here too, or make ribbon flowers. It's whatever you want. Now the part that I was going to face away is going to face the front. Feel free to repeat this style around the lamp too if you want more of a symmetrical look. Ooh, my own personalized lamp. Now when I'm burning the midnight oil, I can study fashionably. Love it. How did you decide to spruce up your shade? Tweet me at Jamie Petito or tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Right there. Just click on that button. Or right there. Ooh, my own personalized lamp. Lap. <laughs> um, I got my prices right modeling on. How much do you think this thing costs? <laughs>